Boys and Girls today, our story is going to be about pumpkin. Pumpkins, and this is the craft that you will have in your kit to take home. This is your little jack-o'-lantern that you will make. It'll be a pumpkin to begin with, and when you give it eyes, nose, and a mouth, you turn him into a jack-o'-lantern. You have a leaf and a stem to decorate them however you want to. We'll have it, the eyes and the fun poem in your kit for you. Then you will also get a pipe cleaner with some beads if I can get your pipe cleaner here. And what you do is you want to count the beads and string them on your pipe cleaner. So you want to count out five beads. So you put one, two, three, and so on until you get five. You will get as many as 10 beads and you can take them off and on and count them as you go. And this will help you learn how to count to 10. And if you want more, then you can get you some more beads and keep adding them to your pipe cleaner. And you can add different colors if you want to. So that will be in your kit that you take home. Everything to make your pumpkin and to count your pumpkins. Our first story is called The Happy Pumpkin. It was almost Halloween and pumpkins everywhere were getting excited. Pick your own pumpkin. Today, every pumpkin in town would be chosen by a child and made into a shining but scary jack-o'-lantern. Up in the pumpkin patch, the children came to pick their pumpkins and take them home. One group of pumpkins still waiting in the field argued about who would be the scariest. They all wanted to be chosen first. No, my teeth are the scariest. I'll get chosen first because my eyes are scary. One pumpkin didn't say anything. He wasn't scary. He was smiling. The other pumpkins all laughed at him. Who wanted a happy pumpkin for Halloween? As the sun began to set in the sky, the shadows got longer and darker. I don't want this one. Oh, I love it. The pumpkins made their most frightening faces, each desperate to be chosen by a child. This one's the scariest. I want this one. It wasn't long before most of the pumpkins had been chosen. The pumpkin patch started looking bare and empty. Some rabbits hopped by and looked at the pumpkins. Soon, only two pumpkins were left. One of them was smiling happily, and the other one looked very sad. Hmm, I'm sure I'll be picked next. I really hope someone picks me. After the sun went down and the field was dark, just as the pumpkin picking was closing for the night, two children entered. Woo, this is the scariest pumpkin event ever. The girl wasn't scared of the dark. She grabbed the scary pumpkin and ran off to show her parents. But the little boy looked scared and hid behind his mom. The boy shivered in the dark. He didn't like that night or the big field. He didn't really like Halloween and he didn't want a pumpkin with a frightening face. Then he saw the happy pumpkin. This one looks friendly. Can I, can I have it? And then the happy pumpkin didn't just smile. He shone. Let's be friends. Because we 
always shine our brightest when we are just when we are just who we are. There's a different pumpkins. Look, there's the one that's smiling, and there's a scary one. All right. This one is called the Three Bears Halloween. It was Halloween. Papa Bear put on funny ears. Mama Bear put on funny hair. And Baby Bear put on a mask with big sharp teeth and shouted, Boo! Mama and Papa Bear jumped. You look so scary, Baby Bear. Picked up a bag. Let's go. The bears went out trick-or-treating. Boo, Baby Bear yelled down a hole. A squirrel gave him some nuts. Boo, he shouted into a bush with some bees. And they gave him some honey. Boo, he called up to a tree. A family of birds dropped berries in his bag. Look, I'm so scary, my trick-or-treat bag is almost full, said Baby Bear. The bear saw a house covered with spider webs. Baby Bear shivered. Someone has a very, very scary house. Mama Bear chuckled. Someone is also very messy. Baby Bear knocked on the door. Trick-or-treat. Crank. The door swung open. But no one was there. Someone must have forgotten to shut the door, said Papa Bear. Tee -hee 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 -hee. Someone's laughing, said Papa. Someone's in the bushes, said Mama. Someone's wearing a tall, scary hat, said Baby Bear. Who do you think's going to be in the bushes? Well, let's see. So the bears hurried inside. Papa shut the door. I smell something, said Mama. Something yummy, said Papa. Woo, scary popcorn spiders, said Baby Bear. Look at their spiders. Mama nibbled on some licorice legs. Papa nibbled on two legs and Baby Bear ate the whole popcorn spider. Someone's still outside, said Papa Bear. Someone's peeking in the window, said Mama Bear. Someone with a scary broom, said Baby Bear. The bears ran into the living room. Baby Bear tripped over a chair and broke it. The bears jumped and hid behind the couch. Crank. Someone was opening the door, said Papa. Someone's in the kitchen, said Mama. Someone with a big, scary nose, said Baby Bear. The bears ran upstairs and dived into bed and pulled the covers up over their heads. <laughs> Someone's creeping up the stairs, whispered Papa Bear. <laughs> Someone's tiptoeing in the bedroom, whispered Mama. <laughs> Baby Bear peeked over the covers. Someone is a big bad witch, he yelled. Run! Does she look scary to you? I don't think she really looks scary. Papa, Mama, and Baby Bear leaped out of the bed then ran down the stairs across the living room, through the kitchen, and out the door. Happy Halloween, three bears. There she is. That doesn't look like a scary witch to me. Do you think that might be Goldilocks? Her hair is golden. All right. Our next one is Bear Picks a Pumpkin. Bear, let's go pick a pumpkin. Which one should it be? So many colors, sizes, and shapes. Lots and lots to see. Look at all. 
Here's a funny pumpkin. It's very squatty and wide. But there are more to see yet, Bear. So set it aside. Here's a tall, thin one. The tallest one around. But it's a little wobbly and might just topple down. Here's a tiny pumpkin. It fits right in my hand. It looks simply adorable, but not so very grand. Here's a great big pumpkin, the biggest in the patch. It's awfully hard to lift, so let's find a better match. See, he's able to sit up on that one and the donkey pull the card. Here's a bright white pumpkin. It's lovely, just like snow. But there are other colors here to see before we go. Here's a pretty pumpkin, all striped with orange and green. It's beautiful, but there are more that we still haven't seen. Here's a silly pumpkin. It's bumpy and unique. There are still more pumpkins, so let's go and take a peek. Here's another pumpkin bear. It's perfect, don't you say? It's round and smooth and not too big. Just right for you. Hooray. You picked a perfect pumpkin bear. You found one just for you. And while you picked your pumpkin bear, Your friends all picked theirs too. So everybody got their own pumpkin. All of Bear's friends too. Okay. Let's do five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hold up five fingers and let your hand go up and down. I'm gonna let them jump on the bed. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. All right, let's do five little monkeys teasing Mr. Crocodile. Get our monkeys here. I think Mr. Crocodile's sleeping. We'll have to wake him up. You think the monkeys can wake him up? I bet they can. All right, let's see if he'll wake up. I think he's awake now. All right, you ready?
five little monkeys sitting in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snaps that monkey right out of the tree. Four little monkeys sitting in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snaps that monkey right out of the tree. Three little monkeys sitting in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be and snaps that monkey right out of the tree. Two little monkeys sitting in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snaps that monkey right out of the tree. One little monkey, sitting in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snaps that monkey right out of the tree. Okay, boys and girls, if you're not able to come in for story time, come by and pick up your kit make your pumpkin and your counting beads. Hope to see you soon and have a great afternoon.